It's the 1st of December, which means it's the first day of our Winter Power Challenge, and as you can see, it's a beautiful day. So we're not having the TV on as much as normal. Hand washing instead of using the washing machine, making sure lights are off. Don't know if we're going to be able to keep this up all winter, but we're going to give it a good go. We're down to 12% batteries, and it's predicted to be cloud all day today. Look out the window, and all of a sudden, it's beautiful sunshine. We're bringing in 2,000 watts. We're not getting enough charging, and we're going to have to put the generator on. Cold was fine. Cloudy was manageable but it's cold and cloudy that's finished us. <laughs> I had a message from Fraser saying there is a load of 900 watts continuously on our system at home and we have no idea what it is. It wasn't a tap that had been left on. I think the sensor on our pressure switch got stuck. So I bought this thing. So as long as I've got internet, I can start that up when I'm at work or anywhere really in the world, I guess. I don't know why that's 20%. I don't know what that's even supposed to mean. I've just woken up to the sound of the generator kicking in. It's the 14th of February, which means that we're halfway through the month and that we only have two weeks left of our winter power challenge. We've had some fantastic weather recently and despite the fact that it is a very misty day today, at points we've actually been bringing in over a thousand watts. So things are definitely improving, the days are longer, the sun seems stronger and yeah i feel like we're through the worst of it so this will be the penultimate video for our winter power challenge i thought it'd be nice to look through the stats so far and then in a couple of weeks once we get to march we'll do a full overview of everything that we found out and how the whole three months have gone so this really is the last touch base before we show you the full results in a couple of weeks things have been going pretty well recently and currently the generator has been off for this many days I can't remember exactly how many but I will add it in and that was when the newly fitted auto start kicked in at about 20 to 1 in the morning not the best but yeah since then it's been off things have been going really great the weather was absolutely fantastic last week we were actually away so we didn't get to maximize on any of it and I'm feeling pretty confident that we might be able to keep the generator off for the rest of the month which means we will have gone the entire of February without using it at all that would be amazing our consumption is good solar is great and yeah, these are the stats of how we've been getting on so far. I've popped inside so we can have a look at the statistics so far. The children are napping just outside the door and I've got the window open so I can hear them. Um, so yeah, just logging into the VRM and let's have a look. Okay, so today's looking pretty good. We have uh, generated 4.2 kilowatt hours of solar and we have consumed 3.4 at the moment. Obviously as the evening creeps in, the consumption goes up while the PV drops off. It's only one o'clock at the moment, so I think we're in pretty good stead to um, at least break even today. So I'm quite happy with that. The batteries are at 39%, which is good. Hopefully we'll put a little bit more on them before the evening kicks in. Not sure how cold it's gonna to be tonight, but uh, we tend to lose between 10 and 20% overnight. So we want to make sure that we don't drop to 20% or we will have a repeat of what happened the other week. So let's have a look at the last seven days, see what that's showing. Okay, so as you can see, no generator. We've got 56, 56 kilowatt hours generated from solar and 48 kilowatt hours consumed. So that's really positive. And if we come out a little bit further and look at February, so far, so the last two weeks, as you can see, 119 kilowatt hours produced and 93 kilowatt hours consumed. So that is fantastic and no generator. So I think our record was, I think we were on about 13, 14 days was our record. So if I change this to include the end of January, you can now see the last time that we used our generator was on the 30th of January at one in the morning, <laughs> which is when we dropped 20%. On our batteries but still um this, what we've generated is still a lot more than what we've consumed and i think it's looking that way for winter in general i haven't counted up how many times we used the generator yet i haven't had a look at um the winter stats overall we will do that in a couple of weeks when we finish but yeah so far so good and let's see how many days we can go before we turn the generator on it's about 20 past eight this morning and when we got up about four this morning, we dropped to 22% because the fog just didn't lift yesterday. And despite having some moments of there being over a thousand watts coming in, it just didn't make enough of a difference. So because the weather forecast was saying that the weather is going to be good today, we decided to change our auto start to 15% in the hope that the sunshine would come out and start charging the batteries before we got that far and before the generator switched on. So we dropped to 19%. So it's just as well that we did, um, but we're now bringing in about 820 watts. So hopefully that should be it for today now. The batteries can charge up nicely. I'm not sure how far they'll go. It's a little bit cloudy, so it depends how much that lifts, but hopefully 
Hopefully we're in for a good day.